Hello. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. A very warm regards and welcome to all of you in this uh, presentation. Today, I'm going to give before you. And uh, I welcome and uh, wishing all the best to all the listeners and our friends. Because just now, yesterday itself, we had been celebrating Poetry Day all over India and all over the world. I saw many uh, programs, many snapshots about all those things. So it was a very happy day. So in continuation, we are here. So I think we can, that celebration still goes on. As uh, everybody knows, the poem is the expression of one's soul and one's feelings. So we are free to express whenever we feel anything, whenever some thought or some feeling uh, larps in by our heart or in our mind, we become forced to express it in few words. <clears throat> So in, when we are expressing our things, our ideas, our, our thoughts and our feelings, we become totally ignorant about all the world. We, are, we become a separate entity, totally. So in that case, we all celebrate our uh, feelings as poetry and as poetry day. So without taking much time, I would like to present some, some of my creations. <clears throat> they are, as I already have told you, that whenever we feel something, some thought comes in our minds and bubbles up, we become forced to express it. So different types of ideas, different types of feel, uh, feelings we feel, and I am going to present you some of my thoughts at uh, different times I felt and I expressed. So <clears throat> recently we have celebrated uh, 8th March Women's Day and Women's Day is supposed to be the very uh, bright day for the ladies. And lady means, a woman means motherhood is the most expressive and most important thing in every woman's life. So first of all, I would like to present a poem about mother's love. <clears throat> I beg excuse because my throat is very bad today, but I am sure you, are, you will be able to listen to me. If not, please let me know. So my first poem is, Mother's love, I remorse, I remorse, I truly repent. Mother of two adorable kids, mother of two adorable kids, delicate like flowers, cute, lovely faces, innocent like lamb, difficult to divert vision, from their divine faces. They were my life, breath, and soul. Mother's love. Mother's love wanted to hide those angels under my arms to protect them from evil's eyes. They're from the evil's eyes, always suspicious. Never allowed my daughter to walk on rough floor or road. Never permitted my son to run in hot sun or mud. Always restricted, always restricted them to do any risky or adventurous deed. Bed of roses, bed of roses prepared for them. Kids loved the way, kids loved the way I reared them up. I myself faced all the hardships. I couldn't think anything except my kids. Never thought my son will be more 
strong and immune, playing in sun and sand. Forgot how cruel can be the future, she has to be physically and emotionally strong. Being sensitive cannot save them. From the realities of life, I regret. I regret my blunder. My love proved barriers in their normal lives. My love proved barriers in their normal lives. I found myself guilty. Repent every moment, though it's of no use for me or my children. Yet, yet it can be constructive. Yet it can be constructive as my example can show the correct improved pathway to correct the correct improved pathway to loving mothers. So that's mother's love, which sometimes becomes barrier also. Too much of love and too much of extra care becomes uh, terrible for them. So this is about the motherhood, which we feel proud, but sometimes we commit mistakes also. Our, my next, hope you are sometimes uh, agree to me that always, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Prasanna. Next, curiosity. It's about the spell of life. Tackle is curiosity, conscious or unconscious. It's a love poem, in fact. Conscious or unconscious, I don't know. But gazing at her fair body, I couldn't realize. I could realize, yet couldn't debar my eyes. Gazing at her fair body, I could realize, yet couldn't debar my eyes. Whiskey showing its color getting more intoxicated, perhaps, by the spell of her charm. That marble color gown was merging with her skin. Gorgeous silver jewelry too. Her eyes were splashing colors, colors of attraction slyly. Her lethargic movements, throwing her hair back, in a typical style, again and again, waving herself very attentively, her seductive laughter declaring clearly, she was well aware of her spell, but has borne a pinchy smile on her rosy lips. It wasn't possible to resist as I was dying to embrace her, to kiss her, deeply. To merge with her, surrender myself. It was sensuous dark. Dim light encouraging aroused me. While walking next to her, I could feel her silky gown. Russell passed me a layout. Russell passed me a layout Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome, she whispered. Before I could sense, she left. Her image faded. Confused me. Stuck to that moment. Did she compliment me? It's human imagination. It's human imagination touches seventh sky. However, no wings. So allowed and uh, thinking that she was also attracted toward me, it was my imagination. So this is uh, attraction of uh, and attraction of charm and uh, spell of beauty. So this was another color of thoughts. 
another uh, poem. Yes. Another poem which tells about uh, the life and our capability. What do we think? What do we do? And what we are supposed to do? And how the life is a mixture of different things. With, but ultimately, another thing is there. So this is about that. The title is Sensitiveness. <clears throat> The title of poem is Sensitiveness. A human body, a human body is only a structure. A human body is only a structure till he notices his soul, which is eternal source of life. Calls, wants, awakes. He has a precious heart, guides every movement. Who says kindness, love, desires, willingness to survive everything, but the head, but the head who has mind is the master, have capability to make a man, a human being, or a beast. Finer qualities of man, if not fitted, meet a sad death. Sensitive persons, writers, poets have foresight to present and live. Have foresight to present and live that imaginary eternal life where they can create beautiful gardens in desert. They are able to make flowers bloom anywhere they wish. They have capability to spread blood on the papers through their words. They are able to create such an ambience where lovers find themselves out of this world. They can remove fear, grief from humans' mind. To remove negative thoughts, plant positivity. Important point to think about, only if somebody listens, only if somebody listens to the voice of the soul, to the voice of the soul, perfect sync forms perfect results. Mind and soul and deeds, when perfect sync, it is a, a forming a perfect results which can do anything, anywhere, in any way. So that is the thing. Mastermind always is able to control and able to direct in any direction he wants. So this is sensitiveness. We don't think, we never think rather we say that uh, we are going to do anything which is really worth. We do never think if our soul wants us also, we try to ignore that. We always try to do what we think. But when the mind, soul, and deed, three of them are in perfect sync, then the results are perfect also. So listen to your soul. Listen to your mind sometimes. That is the necessity for human beings. <clears throat> I'm trying to uh, put before you different thoughts which come in the mind different uh, times. We are always not in the same mood. Sometimes we think this way or sometimes we think other way. Or sometimes such incident comes before us when we are totally lost in that and we can't avoid telling something about that. So it can be like that also. So this is a 
poem regarding man's behavior. What do men think and what do they do? <clears throat> this is be a human, be a human. <clears throat> the moment intercede in the world, cradle of love and care. The moment intercede in the world, cradle of love and care welcomes you. The countdown activates to at the same moment. The countdown activates to at the same moment. You are unaware. You are unaware how constant it is. You enjoy several opportunities, but your most precious collection, but your most precious collections, love, kindness, compassion. At any place, any, any age, your love, kindness, compassion at any place, any age, with anyone or for anyone or everyone. You need it for yourself. You need it for yourself, others expect too. A true human keeps a large heart. A true human he keeps a large heart extend, a large heart extend the same to everyone. Extend the same to everyone. Your kind, loving behavior. Yours, kind, loving behavior marked as your introduction. Mark as your introduction, make it grand. Make it grand, applaudable, adorable. Your signatures should be applaudable, adorable, acceptable, and everybody should like it. So this is uh, about your behavior, your thinking, and what others take it. <clears throat> Excuse me for a minute. Friends, today somehow my eye is having very bad throat. And suddenly it became, it wasn't like that bad. But suddenly it started. I hope you are, uh, yeah, I, I, everybody can notice that uh, this, my throat is very bad today. I'm finding it difficult <clears throat> a little bit. I was so enthusiastic to present something before you all. And uh, today suddenly it became like this. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you are people are liking and uh, anyway. So let us go for a different color for some time. This is a, let us go for some strange thing, right? And it is a strange, the title of the poem is, it is a strange. And she was caught stunned. She was caught stunned. There were melodious swaras of sitar. There were melodious swaras of sitar. Enchanting tinkling of guitar. Enchanting tinkling of guitar. Rhythmic beats of tabla and drums. Rhythmic beats of tabla and drums. Strokes of santur. Amazing sounds. Above all, above all, mesmerizing voice of the singer as if sweetness of honey and sugar thrown in the world bewitching bird of pleasure thrown in the world bewitching bird of pleasure deeply engraved in the magic of recital couldn't check her 
movements, couldn't check her movements as if someone pulling her, as if someone pulling her, the magic of music stopped suddenly. The magic of music which was pulling her stopped suddenly. She found herself amongst musical instruments. She found herself amongst musical instruments beautifully arranged in showcases. Beautifully arranged in showcases. Great wonder, there was nobody. There was nobody. She had followed the voice carefully. Great wonder, there was nobody. But she looked everywhere. No traces of any human being. She walked back disparately, but she didn't find anybody. She walked back desperately, stepped out of door. Stepped out of the door to her surprise. Same enticing musical recital again. Same enticing musical recital again. She walked sturdily backwards. This time she wanted to solve the mystery. Who was playing? Who was playing while well, no one there? Instruments were there, but there were, were nobody to play them. Who was playing while well, no one there? She listened to that particular music quite often. She listened to that particular music quite often, but she could never solve the mystery. She could never solve the mystery. So that was the strange thing. Strange musical instruments were uh, playing themselves. So that was the strange thing that time. Hope you like these strange things. One more poem I would like to present before you. That is determination. A strong urge knocks. A strong urge knocks quite often naturally. A strong urge knocks quite often naturally should be quenched philosophically. As our journey is all about beauty and depth. As our journey is all about beauty and depth, within that wears a sheen forever. Every challenge is designed to chisel away at all. That's brittle in order to sculpt that's brittle in order to sculpt a fabulous masterpiece, a fabulous masterpiece in the intrinsic you. Incredible wisdom blossoms as one discovers own unique mission. Begin uncovering true ability. Begin uncovering true ability introspect yourself completely. Introspect yourself completely. It's not about what you wish. It's not about what you wish. It's merely about who you are. Mark your persona. Let us put more efforts to mind. Let us put more efforts to mind the beautiful Littering dwells within. Mind that determination without directions is elusive, completely elusive. And uh, I think time is going to be over. Thank you, Prasanna. Thank you so much. 
And if uh, you allow, let me find out some small poem to fill the gap. A very, very short poem, Your Ultimate Desire. This is a, a very short poem. The ultimate desire of everyone your own generated inhibitions. The ultimate desire of everyone, your own, <clears throat> your own generated inhibitions become obstacles in movements. Become obstacles in your movements. Here it's your completely your responsibility. Here it's your completely your responsibility to remove the cobwebs from the path of growth. To remove the cobwebs from the path of growth. You can do with legions. You can do with legions. You are capable of enactment. Your commitments, you can, and you will have to open the doors of progression. You have to open the doors of progression, enlightenment for yourself and for the generations to come. You have to open the doors of progression, enlightenment for yourself and for the generations to come. It's your moral duty. Thank you. And uh, I really beg excuse, very bad throat. Thank you so much. I really feel bad that uh, because of sore throat, I have uh, not uh, present this way that uh, I generally do. But hope you are uh, able to understand, you are able to listen. Thank you so much. And uh, I really appreciate your patience. Thank you so much. And uh, hope to see you next. Again, have a good sleep, very good night, and thank you for being here and supporting me. All the best. Good night. <laughs>